York City. The only city I know where you can hear 20 different languages in one day and still not know anybody. Name's Rick Mallory. Profession? Private detective. I had a jackhammer of a headache, and that flashing neon light wasn't helping. I figured maybe a pull from that bottle of rot gut I kept in my desk would do the trick. Nope. Maybe another. Nope. And then, that's when she appeared. How long had she been standing there? And had I been picking my nose? She was gorgeous, just the way I like them. And she had legs that went all the way to the ceiling. Okay, maybe not that far, but they were really long legs. She sat down. I was glad I'd moved the whoopee cushion. I guess you're wondering why I'm here. What are any of us doing here? And how did we get here? And where are we going? Are we all just organisms holding on with our fingernails to this gigantic rock we call Earth? I must say, I never thought I'd be sitting in a private investigator's office in my life. But I didn't know where else to turn. She had the lips of a movie star. Funny word, lips. Germanic in origin, I believe. It's a funny word if you just repeat it over and over. Lips. 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 <laughs> but then, a lot of words are funny that way. And this broad had a lot of words. And smoke. There seems to be a man following me everywhere I go. Mr. Mallory, do you think that I should be worried? Worried? I didn't know the meaning of the word. So I thought I'd better look it up. Let's see here. Curried. Furried, scurried. Wait a minute. This is one of those damn rhyming dictionaries. I think my dead husband's brother-in-law is trying to blackmail me. I don't know what made me think of it right then, but I suddenly realized I love a nice hot pie. It doesn't matter what kind it is, just as long as it's hot and it's pie. I said I, I think someone is blackmailing me. Man, does this dame love to yap. Where was I? Oh, yeah. Pie. I even like meat pies. Like chicken pot pie. You haven't said a word since I sat down. Are you listening to me? Listening? Who does anymore? Oh, sure, we hear, but we don't really listen. That's what's wrong with people. Everyone is in their own private little world. Isolated. Insulated. Only looking out for number one. I think I'm being blackmailed and my life is in danger. I'm asking for your help. Money is no object. It's hard to hear yourself think with a woman like that prattling on. That's how women are. One moment of glory and then it is talk, talk, talk. Let's go see a movie. I don't want to go bowling. No, I'm not going to give you another five dollars. Are you deaf? My life is in danger. Will you help me? Help? What did she mean by that? I decided to look that one up, too. Let's see. Assistance? Aid? Relief? Wait a minute. This is a stinking thesaurus. I've got to get a dictionary. She walked out like every other dame in my life. Through the door. She was beautiful. But underneath all that skin and makeup was a cobra. And then... He walked into my life. He was a janitor with legs that went up to the ceiling. Well, one leg went up to the ceiling and the other one was kind of regular size. Maybe that's why he limped so much. Couldn't really 